I'm gonna be honest, guys. I was getting pretty worried about Ground Branch. Don't get me wrong. It's always been king of movement mechanics and a realistic CQB feel, but it felt very incomplete and progress has been slow. However, update 1033 to Ground Branch genuinely takes the game to a new level and excitement is up all over the tactical gaming community. I'm gonna highlight some key changes to the game that are pretty freaking exciting, including one thing that I think Ground Branch now does better than any game I've played probably ever. Number one improved maps. Ground Branch never looked bad per se, but it always felt a little bit incomplete. It had the bones of some great maps, but some of them always felt like they were missing some atmosphere. They felt like you were playing in a map in a video game. Well, with this update, they've made some massive improvements to a couple of the maps like depot and storage facility. These maps now look not only amazing, but they've added so much atmosphere. They now feel like detailed lived in locations rather than unfinished game maps. It makes the game feel much more immersive than before. The developers also made some substantial changes to the physical layouts of these maps, so it will be like exploring a new AO. Number two, new shoot house layouts. Guys, they updated the shoot house. Now you have five different shoot house layouts that you can select from. These layouts add substantial variation in room types, engagement distances, and threat problem sets. I'm really looking forward to running each of them. By the way, if you like tactical team-based gameplay and breakdowns of close quarters battle tactics and infantry tactics you can use in your games, then consider subscribing and joining our Discord. We do regular community gaming nights where we run through some instruction and then hit up some missions in games like Ready or Not, Ground Branch, and others. We've got a really friendly community and we're growing every day. Hope to see you on the team. Number three, new map. With this update, the developers also released a brand new map called Docks. This map is simple but great. It consists of multiple garages, storage buildings, and trailers, as well as mazes of shipping containers, and you also have multiple ships to clear. This map gives a fantastic balance of tense, close quarters spaces with very long open areas. So you'll have to be really on your toes and be ready to find threats both near and far. Not only that, but the facility is well lit. So if you tack at nighttime, you won't be able to stay hidden as effectively. Number four, more realistic shooting feel and particle effects. The shooting feel in this game was already pretty good. After 1033, the shooting feel is amazing. In the past, when a round impacted a target, you would hear a sound or you would see your target crumple, but that was it. Well, the developers have increased the particle effects. Now you get increased visual feedback in the form of better smoke and dust kick up, plus a little bit of blood misting on your target. Now, I get it, in real life, you're not going to see visual blood misting every time you hit a target. With that said though, in the game, it really helps give a more kinetic feel to your shots. Between the slight bullet travel time and the better particle effect, it feels more chunky and substantial. Number five smoother movement mechanics and weapon manipulation. Now, I already thought Ground Branch was the king of this because it gives you flexibility I haven't seen in most other games. You can sprint at two different speeds, you can hold your weapon at the high ready or low ready in order to avoid flagging teammates and to prevent aiming fatigue, you can hold your breath in order to take more accurate shots, and you can swap between multiple optics and magnification levels. Well, with this update, they seem to have made some incremental improvements to these mechanics. Now, I could be totally imagining this like a placebo effect or something, but I am convinced. The movements always felt a little clunky to me in the past, but they all feel smoother and more natural now. I don't know. Give me your thoughts on this in the comments. Am I crazy? Number six, night fighting. This change catapults Ground Branch ahead by leaps and bounds. Prior to this update, we were stuck with terrible, and I mean terrible, night vision capabilities. You only had one really shabby green circle in the center of your screen with everything else blacked out. Not only that, but the AI could see you at night. You couldn't see them half the time, mind you. So fighting at night in Ground Branch was basically suicide. Well, the developers fixed this and they did it with a bang. Look at this. Look at it. Not only does this look beautiful, it is by far the most realistic depiction of operating under night vision that I've ever seen. The slight change in perspective, the change in focal point in your vision, the grainy dots randomly populating across the display, it's just chef's kiss. Not only that, but the lighting effects now are amazing. Look how the nods adjust to the flashlight and the IR flood. It feels like I am awkwardly moving through a real space with real lighting while I have these clunky nods in front of my face. I have never seen a game do it this well. There are a bunch of other minor changes like new weapons, new optic modeling, and various other adjustments. Right now, this update has not been officially pushed out for the mass release. However, you can access it by opting in in Steam. If you have the game already, 
go to the link I've dropped in the description and follow the developer's instructions, which are super easy. And don't forget to subscribe and join our Discord if you want tactical team-based content. We'll definitely be featuring more Ground Branch videos in the future. Hope to see you on the team.